and we both hunger and thirst, and we are poorly clothed, beaten and homeless. And we labor, working with our own hands, being reviled we bless, being persecuted we endure it, being defamed we entreat. We have been made as filth of the world, the offscouring of all things until now. I do not write these things to shame you, but as my beloved children, I warn you. For though you might have ten thousand instructors in Christ, yet you do not have as many fathers. For in Christ Jesus I have begotten you through the gospel, therefore I urge you, imitate me. The grace and peace of the Lord be with us all amen. The Catholic and selected a lesson, my beloved brethren, selected from the second Catholic epistle of our father Peter. May his blessing be with us all, amen. We also have the prophetic word made more sure, which you do well to heed as a light that shines in a dark place, until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of scripture is of any private interpretation. For prophecy never came by the will of man, but holy men of God spoke as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. But, but there were false prophets among you, even as there will be false teachers among you, who will secretly bring in destructive heresies, even denying the Lord who bought them, and bring on themselves swift destruction. And many will follow their destructive ways, because of whom the way of truth will be blasphemed. By covetousness they will exploit you with deceptive words. For a long time their judgment has not been idle and their destruction does not slumber. For if God did not spare the angels who sinned, but cast them down to hell and delivered them into the chains of darkness to be reserved for judgment, and did not spare the ancient world, but saved Noah, one of eight people, a preacher of righteousness, bringing the, in the flood on the world of the ungodly, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them to destruction, making them an example to those who afterward live ungodly, and delivered the righteous Lot, who was opposed with the filthy conduct of the wicked. For that righteous man dwelling among them tormented his righteous soul from day to day by seeing and hearing their lawless deeds. Then the Lord knows how to, how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust under punishment for the day of judgment. Do not love the world nor the things in the world. The world's lust will pass away, but he who does the will of God abides for God. Amen. Certo merita più che possa the acts of our fathers the apostles may their holy blessings be with us all amen now when they had passed through Ampi Amphiopolis and Apollonia they came to Thessalonica where there was a synagogue of the Jews then Paul as his custom was went into them and for three Sabbaths reasoned with them from the scriptures explaining and demonstrating that the Christ had to suffer and rise again from the dead and saying this Jesus who I preach to you is the Christ and some of them were persuaded and a great multitude of the devout Greeks, and not a few of the leader, leading women, joined Paul and Silas. But the Jews who were not persuaded, 
becoming envious, took some of their evil men from the marketplace and gathered a mob, set all the city in an uproar and attacked the house of Jason and sought to bring them out to the people. But when they did not find them, they dragged Jason and some brethren to the rulers of the city, crying out, These who have turned the world upside down have come here too. Jason has harbored them, and these are all acting contrary to the decrees of Caesar, saying there is another king, Jesus. And when they troubled the crowd and the rulers of the city, when they and he, they troubled the crowd and the rulers of the city when they heard these things. So when they had taken security from Jason and the rest, they let them go. Then the brethren immediately sent Paul and Silas away by night to Berea. When they arrived, they went into the synagogue of the Jews. They were more they were more fair minded they were more fair minded than those in Thessalonica, in that they received the word with all readiness, and searched the scripture daily, to find out whether these things were so. Therefore many of them believed, and also not a few of the Greeks, prominent women as well as men. May the word of the Lord grow and spread, be mighty and confirmed in the Holy Church of God. Amen. On this day in the year 1684, or 1968, the church celebrated the first pontifical liturgy of the, in the new St. Mark's Cathedral in the monastery of Ambaruis, which is known as Der el Kendak, where the relics of St. Mark were placed after his return from Venice and Rome. On the morning of Wednesday the 19th of Baruma, but ba 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 at about six o'clock, Pope Carolus took the box of the relics of St. Mark that he had placed on the altar of the old St. Mark's Cathedral in Asbekeia upon its arrival. He brought it in his private car to the new St. Mark's Cathedral. The Pontifical Divine Liturgy was celebrated on this occasion and was headed by Pope Carolus VI, and participating with him were the Patriarch Marignatius Yaub III, the Antiochian Patriarch of the Syrian Orthodox Church, and a number of Syrian, Indian, and Armenian Orthodox bishops. This celebration was attended by Emperor Haleli Selassis, the first, em the first emperor of Ethiopia, Cardinal Dovo, the head of the Roman Papal Delegation, and Cardinal of Algeria, many of the heads of the different religions and representatives of the churches all around the world, and more than th 6,000 Egyptians and foreign foreigners. During the liturgy, the box that contained the relics of St. Mark the Apostle was placed on a table in the middle of the eastern part of the altar of the cathedral and remained there till the end of the liturgy. Right after the liturgy, Pope Carolus went down carrying the box along with the Emperor, the Syrian Orthodox Patriarch and the heads of the churches in a magnificent procession. They went to the sanctuary that was prepared for St. Mark under the main altar of the cathedral. Pope Carolus placed the box inside the marble altar, which was covered by a large marble slab on it was the altar table. The different chorale groups then sang successively in different languages, songs and hymns that befit the occasion in salutation of St. Mark. They sang in Coptic, Ethiopian, Syrian, Armenian, Greek, Latin and in Arabic. The day was a joyous, a joyous day and one of the most blessed days in the history of the Church of Alexandria. May the blessing of St. Mark be with us all. Amen. On this day also in the year 28, Pope Achilles, eighth Pope of Alexandria, departed. He was a priest in the Church of Alexandria. When Pope Peter I, the seal of martyrs, received the crown of martyrdom, the believers in Alexandria agreed and gathered the bishops. They ordained Achilles a priest as patriarch instead of Pope Peter, as he, comm as he commended before his departure from this world. When he was a when he was enthroned on the patriarchal chair in the, on the 19th of Kiak in 28 a.m., a group of people came to him and asked him to accept uh, Arius in the church. He accepted their petition against the command of his father, his father Pope Peter. But he did not remain on the chair longer than six months, then departed. May his prayers be with us all. I mean, on this day also we commemorate the departure of St. George, known as El Mezhim, as well as the martyrdom of St. Bishay Anu. May their prayers and blessings be with us all. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. 
disciples and pure apostles that many prophets and righteous many nessie desire to see what you are now seeing but they could not and to hear what you are now listening to but they could not blessed are your eyes for they can see and your ears for they hear grant that you may become eligible to hear and behave according to your holy gospels through the petitions of your sins pray for the holy gospel Lord have Remember, O oh Lord, those of us who ask us to remember them in our prayers and supplications that we offer you, O oh Lord, our God. Grant repose the souls that preceded us in departure and heal those who are sick. For you are our life, our hope, our healing, our salvation, and our resurrection. Psalm of David, Alleluia. For you, O God, have heard my vows. You have given me the heritage of the Zufi. Your name. So I will sing praise to your name forever. Then I may daily perform my vows. Stand up in the fear of God and listen to the Holy Gospel. A chapter from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew, the evangelist, apostle, and pure disciple. May his blessing be with us Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the Lord God and Savior and the King of us all, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Glory be to you forever and ever. Amen. Then one was brought to him who was demon-possessed, blind and mute. 
And he healed him so that the blind and mute man both spoke and saw. And all the multitudes were amazed and said, Could this be the son of David? But when the Pharisees heard it, they said, This fellow does not cast out demons except by Beelzebub, the ruler of the demons. But Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself will not stand. And if Satan casts out Satan, he is divided against himself. How then will his kingdom stand? And if I cast out demons by Beelzebub, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore they shall be your judges. But if I cast out demons by the Spirit of God, surely the kingdom of God has come upon you. Or else how can one enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods, unless he first binds the strong man, and then he will plunder his house? He who is not with me is against me, and he who does not gather with me scatters abroad. Therefore I say to you, every sin and blasphemy will be forgiven men, but the blasphemy against the Spirit will not be forgiven men. Anyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man, it will be forgiven him. But whoever speaks against the Holy Spirit, it will not be forgiven him either in this age or in the age to come. Either make the tree good and its fruit good, or else make the tree bad and its fruit bad, for a tree is known by its fruit. Brood of vipers, how can you, being evil, speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart brings forth good things, and an evil man out of the evil treasure brings forth evil things. But I say to you that for every idle word men may speak, they will give account of it in the day of judgment. For by your words you will be justified, and by your words you will be condemned. And glory be to God. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, I mean, today Jesus said a verse which is really touching my heart, and I would like to spend the next 10 minutes or so talking about this verse. We say, or how can one enter a strong man's house? Or how can one enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods unless he first binds a strong man and then he will plunder his house? And I would like to speak to you about a strong man and a weak man. How can I be strong spiritually so no one can come and bind me and plunder what I have, which is talking about spiritual stuff. We are strong by the Holy Spirit, and we are weak by the desires that Satan put in front of us. And this is the idea that the church tried to implant inside you. You are very strong with the Holy Spirit. Do you recognize how strong you are with the Holy Spirit? Because that's what Jesus is saying today. If a strong man is there, how can anyone come to this strong man? The Holy Spirit inside us is making us really strong. And every one of us on uh, baptism day, we get this Holy Spirit. And it's up to us whether we'd like to acknowledge and use the Holy Spirit inside us or to ignore the Holy Spirit inside us. I'll tell you a couple of stories of people who use the Holy Spirit inside them and they were very, very strong. One of them is Abuna Daud Lam. I speak about one priest and then about one layman person. Uh, so we know that everyone, when we choose to use the Holy Spirit inside us and recognize it, we are going to be very strong. Abuna Daud Lam'i put in his heart from young age, in one of the interviews I heard him, 
talking about that. That every soul on the earth worth to be preached and worth to get to know the Lord Jesus Christ. So they are not going to vanish when they finish their life here on earth. And he put that in his heart. He's a priest, he's not a patriarch. He does not have the power and the resources and the freedom to go around the world and to preach the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to many nations. But he put that in his heart, knowing very well that the Holy Spirit is unlimited in the power that it can give to people, acknowledging that and knowing that the Holy Spirit inside him, if he asks the Holy Spirit, if the will of God meet his will, the Holy Spirit can do many things. He starts to pray and says, the Holy Spirit of God help me to do this stuff. And you can see now, may the Lord bless his life, Abuna Daud Lamai, is very well known not only in the Coptic Church when Abuna visiting here in Australia, we find people from all other nations who speak Arabic. And some of them speak English and know about him as well and come to take his blessing. The man could have churches all over the world. In Asia, whenever we go in Asia, the church started serving service in Malaysia, for example, about 15 years ago or 17 years ago. And now in Malaysia, in the north of Malaysia, we just went to the capital city where the Coptic are there. But Abuna Daud Lama has service, has servants. Some of them called me and say, would you mind we go in the north part of Malaysia, which here in Sydney we don't cover. And they send us to start the preaching. I say, not at all. And please be close to us. We can help each other. And many, many other countries I cannot count how many countries Abuna Dawud Lama is sending a lot of disciples in Egypt. One of them in Philippines was telling, telling me that a uh, pharmacist in Egypt uh, serving with Abuna Dawud Lama and somehow her heart moved very much with the service and she rented her pharmacy and took some money and went to serve in Philippines and now for two years and she is thinking to sell the, the pharmacy and stay in Philippines serving in the church over there. The Holy Spirit is very strong inside us. I'll tell you another story about how people acknowledge the Holy Spirit inside them so that we can acknowledge the Holy Spirit inside us because it seems we have a weapon of power and we don't use them. One of the, <coughs> one of the layman person, his name is after he became a priest, Abuna Mikhail Ibrahim. His name when he was layman was Mikhail. Abuna Mikhail Ibrahim passed away about 40 years ago. And he was very close to Pop Shinoda, or 50 years ago maybe. He was very, very close to Pop Shinoda. He was serving in a small church in Shobra. And Pop Shinoda wrote a book about him, a very beautiful book, about the stories of the power of this man. And the man is a very simple man, not even from Cairo. It is from a very rural area beside Cairo. Very simple man. But he was very strong with the Holy Spirit. He knew how to use the Holy Spirit inside him. I love very much, and I put in my heart today, and then I will translate this book written by Abuna, by Bob Shinoda, about Abuna Mkhil Ibrahim. I'll translate it in English. God willing, very soon we'll have this book in English, so you can see the power of this man. Very simple man. And what's happened is this man has the Holy Spirit, and he recognizes the Holy Spirit. And the story is saying that this man recognized the Holy Spirit by praying the third hour prayer every day. I'll say it again. This man recognized and used the Holy Spirit every day he prays the third hour prayer. And that was this his relationship to the Holy Spirit. He knew that I have the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit can do miracles in me. And at that time, about maybe eight years ago, the persecution was very, very high, more than now, in Egypt. So he used to go to work, and uh, uh, the government allowed the Christian people on Sunday, because this is a day of prayer, to go a little bit late, to go 10 o'clock, so they can go to church, pray, and come to work. But his boss, being not in the capital city, Cairo, when people have a little bit more freedom, but being from a rural area, and uh, the bosses are very... Um, dictate, dictators and no one can stand in front of them. He has a boss in his work and they told him, no, this rule is not for me and I'm not applying this rule of the country. You have to come 8 o'clock. 
And the man was a man of God and say, I have to go to church every Sunday. So he didn't care. And he prayed and said, Lord, please help me against this man because he's unfair. So he wanted to church and come back to work at 10 o'clock. And the boss was standing, waiting for him. And he started to be very harsh on him and tell him, I'm going to put notice, put notice. If this happened again, you are fired. And at that time, if you are fired from work, from Egypt, you are going to be a bigger. And the man has a number of kids and has a house. But he has the Holy Spirit and knows the Holy Spirit is going to help him. And listen to how the Holy Spirit helped this man after that. That he went home not very happy. And the man, the boss, felt I'm very strong and very powerful. W went to his home to find his younger daughter. The boss is very, very sick. And his wife told him out of, out of nothing, out of nowhere. She was playing and she was happy. And she's now very sick. The doctor came. They brought the doctor to the boss's daughter. And he didn't know what is on. And then some thought come in the mind of the boss that maybe this holy man in that I, 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 I was very harsh on him in the morning and was unfair to him in the morning. Maybe it has something to do with this, with my daughter's sickness. So he, he wear his clothes, went to the man, knocked on the door, very small village, everyone knows each other. And they told him, please forgive me. I don't want to do that again. Please go to the church every Sunday and please pray for me. And the man went back home, the boss, to found his daughter playing, jumping, as if nothing happened. And it was the power of Abu Khayyil Ibrahim. Many stories. Bob Shenouda wrote a very yani, medium-sized book about the story about this man who using the Holy Spirit. My question to you, do you use the Holy Spirit in your life? Do you ask the Holy Spirit to help you at the beginning of each day? If you have an interview, do you go to the interview just uh, getting knowledge from everyone, getting uh, uh, resources from people around you. You read about the website of this company, you have an interview. You rely on yourself a lot. You know that your CV is powerful. You know that you are a good speaker. You know that you have many interviews and you were successful before. Do you go with that spirit or you go by humbling yourself, come to church in the morning before the interview, or maybe say a short prayer, asking the Holy Spirit to help you. Which way are you? Are you using the Holy Spirit inside you or not? My advice to you and my request to you, please read the third hour prayer in Agbeya every day. Every day, because this is the prayer of the Holy Spirit. So read your third hour prayer every day in Agbeya before you start your day. Maybe you can do that in the way by train. Maybe you park your car before you go to work and stay a few minutes and read the Psalms and the Gospel of the Third Hour Prayer, which is related to the Holy Spirit. Make sure the Holy Spirit inside you is strong and you are making use of the Holy Spirit inside you all the time. Don't rely on yourself, but rely on the Holy Spirit inside you. This is a strong person who knows how to use the Holy Spirit uh, that the Lord granted us. So he was going to be strong. No one can bind him and no one can plunder his goods. And you are going to live in life very, very strong spiritually because you rely on the Holy Spirit. We had a Abuna Tadrus Ya'ub Malati about 20 years ago, stayed in our church for a couple of weeks, and we have a revival for three nights. And Abuna Tadrus Ya'ub Malati is a very knowledgeable man. But every night before he comes to give a talk to the youth, he goes to the altar, bow down inside the altar for a few minutes, asking the Holy Spirit to help him. And his talks was very fiery. And until now, probably you have a record of his talks for three nights that touches the heart and done a revival in our church because he is using the Holy Spirit. He relies on the Holy Spirit inside him. Second part is how can a person tie this strong person who has the Holy Spirit. How can Satan control us? And how can we are tied and plundered by Satan? Uh, how can this happen when we are strong? Uh, this can happen when we go with the world and all the desire of the world very much. In the second Timothy, St. Paul used to have a disciple and this disciple name is Demas. And uh, St. Paul said something about Demas that maybe it is 
suitable for all of us. He said that for, for Dimas has forsaken me, having loved this present world. And this is the problem, having loved this present world. He used to be like Timothy. It was Timothy and Dimas serving together. And then Dimas left St. Paul while Timothy stayed with St. Paul. Why Dimas left St. Paul? St. Paul said, because he loved the things of the world. And this is the problem. This is the problem that Satan ties us. He offers us things of the world, and we are not anymore looking after our Holy Spirit. And this is how the Satan can tie us and can plunder what we have. I'll say it again. As much as the love of the world increase in your heart with what Satan offer you, as much as the Holy Spirit is going to be quenched, and you are going to live like Demas. You are not going to be in the house of the Lord or in the love of the Lord. Or you may be in the house of the Lord, but your heart is not with the Lord. How can this happen? When you give yourself to the desires of the world, to the love of the world. I may finish my talk with a couple of double letters. I just thought of them today. How can these letters take us from the love of the world, from the love of the Lord, and tie us to the, uh, to the world? And these letters are FB, IG, OS, double T, and F. And I'll tell you what every one of them say. FB, when the Facebook is very attractive, and you go, and instead of doing your a spiritual canon that you talk to your confession father about. You don't pray and you don't read the Bible day after day. You're just very attracted to the FB and the FB is taking a lot of your time. Opposite to that, if your spiritual canon is strong, you won't have much time to lose in other things because the, the day is very limited in the number of hours and you have a lot of things to do. I appreciate and I know your life is very busy with work, with, uh, um, with relationships, with a lot of things. I know life is very busy. If you look after your spiritual canon, you won't have much time that Satan can tie you with the FB and you stay long hours because you won't have time. You may look quickly 10 minutes, which is okay, but you want to stay for hours. Second couple of letters is IG. You can guess what it is. It's Instagram that everything you post and everything people post and you are all the day busy with the world, with what people are doing, with what my friend is doing, with what this actor and actor is doing and you don't have time to stay with the Lord. Satan already taught you. You don't pray, you don't read your Bible, you don't read a book, so what you are expecting? You are already tied by Satan and he's going to plan your spiritual life. You are going to be like the mess. May the Lord prevent that. So this is the second couple letter. The third letter, couple letter is OS, online shopping. When you stay long hours now shopping and looking for things to buy and the spiritual canon is not there. You don't pray, you don't read the Bible. Even if you are strong enough and your confession father has impact and influence in you to pray, your heart is not in, you, in the prayer. Your heart, I would like to buy this dress. I would like to buy this computer. I'd like to, to on, online shopping. So be aware, please, of this, all these ties that sit and tie you. You are going to be demes if you don't look after yourself. With a very strong spiritual canon. What I'm really asking you today to do <coughs> is a strong spiritual canon that I give the time to the Lord in prayer every night, my Agbeya, in reading my Bible, and some listening to some sermons, or reading a spiritual book. And then the left time, I can use whatever, which won't be much left of the day, which is good. So the spiritual canon will control losing my time and allowing Satan to tie me with all that. The last two letters, I'm not uh, special, I cannot claim to be a very good in all that. I just hear in confession those stuff, but thank God that I, I, I said no, I'm not going to that many years ago. So that I'm weak and I can lose my time if I start using these double letters thing. The next double letter I hear people talking about is TT, which is TikTok. TikTok people see whatever they offer you. See how many ties Satan are doing. Maybe 100 years ago, 
He does not have all this to tie you. See how much Satan is very smart and how much we are, sorry to say, silly to give him. Every time he offers us something, we take a tie and we uh, uh, lose our freedom and lose our spiritual life. And the third one, or the last one, which is a very strong rope to tie us, extremely strong. And I would like you to free yourself out of this double letter coming. It's NF, which is Netflix. Thank you very much. The videos and the movies, one after one, five hours, this movie finished, second movie, and Netflix. Yani, Rabbina Bidilhum resources and Bidilhum actress and actor, uh, 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 actress and uh, actors to fill the, the time with a lot of movies and you spend all your time watching the Netflix. Please don't allow Satan to tie you and don't allow you to be plundered from your spiritual life. Be smart, please. Be wise. My advice to you today is pray the third hour prayer every day so the Holy Spirit will strengthen you. Secondly, meet with your confession father, please, and have a spiritual canon. Don't live in life without a spiritual canon. When you have a spiritual canon, this spiritual canon by itself automatically will decrease the time left for all these double letters that can plunder uh, your spiritual life. Glory be to God forever. Amen. Blessed are the saints of this day, each one in his name be. Jesus, may he forgive us our sins. Pray for us, O saints. Mark the apostle and disciple. Pray for us to our Lord. May he forgive us our sins. Blessed is the Father. The Son and the Holy Spirit, the perfect Trinity, we worship and glorify. Attack to God with wisdom, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, truly. Truly, Lord <coughs> God, the Almighty God, the Father, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, light out of light, true God out of true God, begotten not made, co-essential with the Father, through whom all things came into being. He descended from heaven for us and for our salvation, and was incarnated of the Holy Spirit, and of the Virgin Mary and became men. He was crucified for us at the time of Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried arose from the dead on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended to the heavens and sat at the right hand of his Father. He shall also come back in his glory to judge the living and the dead, of whose kingdom there will not be an end. Truly we believe in the Holy Spirit, the life-giving Lord, who proceeds from the Father. We worship and glorify him together with the Father and the Son, who spoke in the prophets, and in one holy universal apostolic church, we acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. And we look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. I have seen, forgive me, Oh, you are who were 
who continue unto the age who self-exist and consubstantial co-enthroned and the co-creator with the Father who for goodness alone brought man into being from what was not and you placed him in the paradise of joy but after he had fallen by the gale of the enemy and you will to renew him and restore him to his original rank neither an angel nor an archangel nor a patriarch nor a prophet did you entrust with our salvation but you yourself without change took flesh and became man and resembled us in everything except the sin alone you became for us a mediator with the father and the middle wall of division you have broken down and the old enmity you have abolished you reconciled the earthly with the heavenly and made the two into one and you completed the dispensation in the flesh and you ascended to the heavens bodily while you filled all with your divinity you said to your saintly disciples and the pure apostles my peace I give to you, my peace I live with you. Grant this now also to us, o our Lord, and cleanse us from every blemish, all guilt, all hypocrisy, all evil, all malice, and the remembrance of evil until death. Pray for perfect peace, love, and for the pure and apostolic kisses. And make us always your master to greet one another with a holy kiss that without falling into condemnation we may partake of your immortal and heavenly gifts through your grace and the good pleasure of your good Father and the work of your Holy Spirit for you are the benefactor and the provider of all good things. Exchange with one another. Exchange your holy kiss, one another, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. O Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, hear us, have mercy upon us. Let us offer, let us offer, let us offer an order, stand in reverence, look towards the east, let us attend. Intercessions of the Theotokos and Mary, our Lord grant us the forgiveness of our sins. We worship you, O Christ, with your good Father and the Holy Spirit, for you have risen and saved us. The mercy of peace, a sacrifice, oh, 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 praise. The love of God the Father, the grace of the only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, and the communion and the gift of the Holy Spirit, peace with you
Tandue, the right and do it, the right and do it. The truly is appropriate and right to sing praise to you, to bless you, to serve you, to worship you, and to glorify you, O one and only true God, the lover of mankind, the unenfeable, the unseen, the uncontainable, without beginning the eternal, the timeless, the limitless, the unsearchable, the unchanging, the creator of all. The Savior of every one, the forgiver of our sins, who save our life from corruption, who crowns us with mercies and compassions. You are He whom the angels praise and to whom the archangel worship. You are He who the principalities bless, and unto you the Lordship cry out. You are He whose glory the authorities utter. You are he unto whom the throne send up honor. Thousands of thousands stand before you. Ten thousand and ten thousands offer you service. You are he whom the unseen bless. You are he whom the visible ones worship. And they all perform your Lord, the true God of true God, who revealed to us the light of the Father, who bestowed upon us the true knowledge of the Holy Spirit, who has revealed to us this great mystery of life, who established the ranks of the incorporeal among men, who gave to those upon the earth the hymn of the seraphim, Accept from us also our voices together with the unseen. Count us among the powers in the heavens. Let us also sing together with them, having cast away from us all remembrance of the unbefitting thoughts, and they cry out with what is sent up by them, with unsilenced voices and mouths unceasing. We praise your great name. stands the cherubim and the seraphim, six wings to the one and six wings to the other. With two they cover their faces, and with the two they cover their feet, and they fly with two, and they cry out one to the other, sending up the hymn of victory and salvation that is ours with the voices full of glory, praising, singing, crying out, their voices go out and say Worship you and the 
seraphim glorify you, proclaiming and saying, Paradise of joy when you broke your holy commandment through the safe and deceit were deprived of eternal life and exiled from the paradise of joy. You did not entirely abandon us but contacted us continually through your holy prophets and finally you appear to us who are living in darkness and the shadow of death through your only begotten Son our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ who is of the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin sent me the ways of salvation. He granted us the grace of the rebirth from above through the water and the spirit. He made us a united people unto him and purified us through his Holy Spirit. He loved his own people of the world and for our salvation he gave himself up to death which had possessed us whereby we're bound and sold on account of our sins. He descended into his through the cross. Amen. We Send it to the heavens and set at your right hand, O Father. He appointed a different retribution whence will appear to judge the world in equity and reward each one according to his deeds. Let it be according to your mercy, O Lord, and not on account of for all this great mystery of godliness since he was determined to surrender himself up to death for the life of the upon his pure spotless and defied life-giving hands. We believe that this is true. Towards even to you, God is Father and the Master of all. He gave thanks. Amen. He blessed it. Amen. And He sanctified it. Amen. We believe. 
have confessed and glorified. And give it to his holy disciples and pure apostles, saying, Take and eat from it, you all, for this is my body which is broken for you and for many, to be given for the remission of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. This is true. After he took the chalice and mixed it with wine and water, he gave thanks. Amen. He blessed it. Amen. And he sanctified it. And give it to his holy disciples and pure apostles, saying, Take and drink from it, you all, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many, to be given for the remission of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. This is also true indeed. of this bread and drink from this cup. You preach my death, confess my resurrection, and remember me till I come. Amen, 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 your death, O Lord, we His holy passion, his resurrection, his ascension to the heavens is sitting at your right hand, O Father, and his second coming from heaven, O awesome and glorious. We offer you these oblations from what is yours in every occasion, every condition, and for all things. Attend to the Lord in awe and reverence. We praise you. We bless you, we serve you, Lord, and we worship you. Let us attend, Amen. His bread he makes into his holy body. We believe. And 
the shellist to him mixing to his owner blood of the New Testament. We believe to given for the forgiveness of sins and the eternal life to those who partake of them. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Remember, O Lord, the peace of your own holy universal and apostolic church of God, the Honorable Father, Pope Papa Tawadros II, and his partner is apostolic ministry our bishop and Daniel and all the proto priests, priests and deacons, and all the servants and those who live in virginity and the purity of all your faithful people. Remember, O Lord, to have mercy upon us, O Lord. Have mercy upon us, O God, the Father Almighty. Remember, Lord, the safety of this holy place and all the places, the churches, the monasteries of our Orthodox fathers, and those who are dwelling in it in God's faith, gracious, you Lord, bless the land, plantation, trees, crops, the fruits of the earth, the rains, and the waters of the river this year. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Them up to the measure according to your grace that it may be ready for seeding and harvesting. According to you, O Lord, that cheerful touch unto the earth, water it and dispose our lives as them fit. Crown this year with your goodness for the sake of the poor people, the widow, the orphans, the stranger, and for our sake. For our eyes are focused upon you, our hope, and seek your holy name. You provide our food in due course. Deal with us according to your goodness, you the feeder of everybody. Fill our hearts with joy and grace, that we may have always sufficiency of all things. Grow in every good deed. Lord, have mercy. Remember, O Lord, those have offered these oblations, and those who be of their offered, and those who are presenting them, grant them all a heavenly reward. Pray for the sacred and worthy oblations and our sacrifices, and for those who are offered them. Lord, Only begotten Son, O Lord, will to take part in the commemoration of your sins. Gracious, remember, O Lord, all the sins who have pleased you ever since the beginning. Our Holy Father, the Patriarch, the Prophet, the Apostle, the Preacher, the Evangelist, the Martyrs, the Confessors, and all the righteous people who perfected their faith. In the first place, the ever virgin, the mother of God, and all glorified, pure Saint Mary, the forerunner, Saint John the Baptist, and Martyr, the Archdeacon, and first Martyr, Saint Stephen, the beholder of the Lord, the evangelist, Saint Mark, the apostle, and Martyr, Saint Severus, the Patriarch, our holy teacher, the Scholars, the man of prayer, Pope Apa Kirillus the Sixth, and Habib Gerges, the Archdeacon, the twenty one martyrs of Libya, and the whole host of your saints. Have mercy upon us all through the prayers and supplications, and save us for the sake of your holy name that is called upon us. Let those who read recite the names of our holy fathers, the patriarchs who have departed, may the Lord repose all their souls and forgive us our sins. May their heart in blessings be with us all amen. Glory be to
Those who departed, Awad Gabrielos, Latif Morgan, Khalifa Sahaya, Haya Sahaya, Zahir Iskandar, Wanis Sahaya, and the other names we mentioned on the altar, Kiriya Laisun. May you, O Lord, grant repose us all of us over to you in the paradise of joy, in the land of eternal living, in the heavenly Jerusalem. And we also, the foreigners in this world, preserve us in your faith. Grant us your peace till the end. As To your kingdom, that your great and holy name will be blessed, glorified, exalted in everything. O oh, honored and blessed is your name, with Jesus Christ, your beloved Son, and the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all. And with your Almighty God, the Father of our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ, for He has considered us worthy to stand in this holy place, raise our hands and serve His holy name. We also ask and appeal to Him to make us worthy to share and offer His divine and immortal mysteries. Amen. The holy body. Your holy body, O not blood, and your own blood. He is belonging to this Christ, the Almighty, our Lord. Amen, amen, let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Al-Baraka wa salam li gami'aykum. Al-Rahika wa'idha. The Logos of the Father God, who is before ages the great high priest who was incarnated and became man for the salvation of mankind, and out of all nations you called unto you a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people. <laughs> Send the Holy Spirit upon the apostle on the day of the Pentecost, and he came upon each one of them like cloven tongues of fire, and filled them with every knowledge, every understanding, and every spiritual wisdom, 
according to your faithful promise and they spoke in every language and they preached your holy name to all the nations <laughs> For Peter and Paul, for most among the apostles, the shadow of the one who was healing the sick, whereas the handkerchief or aprons were brought from the other's body to the sick people, and the disease left them, and the evil spirit went out of them. And after they preached the gospel of the kingdom of heaven, and to the nations they shed their holy their blood for your name's sake, and receive the crowns of apostleships and the crown of martyrdom. They preached us your holy name and restore us to the true face of the Holy Trinity. We praise you, we bless you, glorify you, and give thanks to you on account of these great gifts. <laughs> ask you, O our Master, to grant us also the forgiveness of our sins, and to purify our hearts, our souls, our bodies, and our spirit, our intention, our eyes, so that with a pure heart we may dare to pray to you, O our Father, who art in heaven, and say, Our Father, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For Jesus Christ, our Lord, from thine kingdom come. Through Christ Jesus our Lord. Bow your heads before the Lord. Before you. Remember, O oh Lord, to bless our gathering. Redeem us with your spirit, listen to the fear of God. Amen. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Yeah, holy is for the holy people. Blessed be the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, and sanctified be the Holy Spirit. Amen. One is the Holy Father, one is the Holy Son, one is the Holy Spirit. and the true honor, blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of our God. Amen. Amen. And the honor is the true body and blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of our God. Amen. This is the body and blood of Emmanuel, the Son of our God. Amen. 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 I 
I believe, I believe, I believe and profess unto my last breath that this is the life-giving body which your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, took of our Lady and Queen of us all, the Mother of God, the pure Saint Mary. He made it one with his divinity without mingling nor interchanging nor alteration, and declared the proper confession before Pontius Pilate and gave it up willingly on the Holy Cross on our behalf. Truly, I believe that his divinity never departed from his humanity, not even for a single instant, nor a twinkling of an eye, given for salvation, remission of sins, and the eternal life to those who partake of them. I believe, I believe, I believe that this is true. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. I believe, I believe, I believe that this is true. Amen. Pray for us and for all the Christians who asked us to remember them in the house of the Lord. The peace and love of Jesus Christ be with you. Sing a psalm, alleluia. Pray for the merit of partaking in these holy, pure, and heavenly mysteries. Lord, have mercy.
Praise the Lord, praise Him with symbols. Praise the Lord, praise Him with loud symbols. Yeah. 
Sing around him are the cherubim and the seraphim who congregate upon him. We see him on the altar. Take of his holy body and honor blood. This is why we glorify you in exceeding Jesus Christ, our Lord, for thine is the kingdom and power, glory, and glory forever. 